Hi, and welcome to this demo of upgrading a .NET 6 repository to .NET 9 using GitHub Copilot. Today we're using the eShop on Web repository, which has several web and library projects. To begin our upgrade, we will choose the upgrade tool in a new GitHub Copilot chat window, and then ask it to upgrade the solution to a newer version of .NET. That will kick us into an upgrade workflow. In this workflow, Copilot will ask us a few questions about the version of .NET we would like to upgrade to, the branch we would like to use as the source of the migration, and then the branch we would like to store our commits on as we go through the upgrade process. Copilot analyzed our repository, saw that we were using some vulnerable NuGet packages, and asked us if we would like to include those in the upgrade. Of course we do, so let's choose that and move on. With all of that information gathered, Copilot made us an upgrade plan. It lists the main steps that Copilot is going to take to upgrade our repository, which are ensure that we have the right .NET SDK, upgrade each project in sequence, and then run the test to verify that things work. We have several knobs that we can use to control the upgrade. We can exclude projects from the upgrade, we can add or change versions of NuGet packages that will be upgraded, and we can investigate what Copilot is going to do for each project. Because this is all editable, I'll ask Copilot to add the utils project, which is net standard, to the table of excluded projects and add a package dependency that I know I want to upgrade along the way. All right, we've got those changes in the plan. So let's uh, accept all of this and Continue the upgrade process. With the plan contents finalized, Copilot has made us a detailed progress view on the left hand side that we can use to follow along. Each of the steps that you see on the left match to the steps that we saw in the upgrade plan and each one has its own set of progress log and change summaries that we can look at as each step is succeeded. The progress log for each step gives you detailed information about the specific changes being made. And the changes tab gives you a helpful summary of the main categories of changes made. In this case, we changed a target framework value and we created a commit with those changes. It looks like the web project is having some problems. Let's take a deeper look. It looks like the namespace for an HTML sanitizer that we use has changed due to a package upgrade. Let's use Copilot to help us figure out how to solve this problem. All right, it looks like Copilot inserted an explicit uh, namespace using statement and simplified the name. The namespace changed, it appears. With that done, we can tell Copilot that it's safe to continue the upgrade. All right. All of the code changes for our upgrade have been completed, and so Copilot is now running the tests so that we can verify that everything works. All green. With the tests finished, Copilot has generated us a report of the upgrade. The report contains a list of the projects that were changed and what changes were made and what commits were a part of them. 
It also lists out all of the NuGet packages that were upgraded, including our custom one, uh, a list of the commits involved in the migration, and next steps for us. Now that our upgrade is complete, we can create a pull request and see what our continuous integration system has to say. Thanks for watching this demo, and go try out Copilot Assisted Upgrades for .NET now.